Now let's do questions and answers. All right, first question. Yes, Brother Stan. So, uh, the Bible says, teaches that uh, angels, they're 30, 30 years old. Uh huh. Right? Yes. So when, we, when the rapture comes, happens, basically, we will be transformed into Jesus' body. Uh -huh. What about lost, lost people? Will they be transformed into the devil's body? Yes, that's a good question. So, I gave it, I did a video on this a long time ago. So, the Bible doesn't say that uh, clearly that we will transform into the devil's body, but there are verses that do show it. So, the first one we'll turn to is the book of Mark chapter 9, please. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. And then I want you to turn to Revelation chapter 20, please. Revelation chapter 20. We're going to look at Mark 9 and Revelation chapter 20. All right, again, I'm not a perfect person for answering questions, so I might uh, be able to, I might fumble here and there, but I'll do the best that I can for, purely just on the spot. We love you. So thank you so much. All right, so when we look at Mark chapter 9, the Bible shows here that when we burn in hell, who's burning in hell? The worm. Worm is burning in hell. Now, the first rule of interpretation in the Bible is to take it literally, right? So, the first rule of interpretation in the Bible is to take it literally. And then if it's impossible, or if there are other verses that don't support it, then what we do is that we take it metaphorically. So, it is important not to take everything literally. If you take everything literally, then you're going to open up a can of worms and come up with major wrong doctrine and even heresy. And if you take everything metaphorically, then you're going to also teach heresy so the rule of biblical interpretation, so this is just a golden nugget, all right, which is very important. Take the verse literally at the beginning. But if you don't have verses that support it, enough sufficient evidences of verses to support and give evidence to your literal interpretation, then don't take it literally. Take it metaphorically. So that's very important. So don't take an abstract verse and take it literally like that. It's easy to do that. But also, don't, because the verse is difficult, don't just think it's metaphorical either like that. So don't do that. So what you've got to do is if there's not enough context or scripture with scripture to support the literal interpretation, then you make it metaphorical. That's the only reason why you do metaphorical, okay? Now, concerning about literal, notice that in Mark chapter 9, Jesus repeats it three times. So showing that there is an importance with worms burning in hell. Verse 44, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Look at verse 46, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Look at verse 48, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. All right, if God repeats something, then that means it's something very important, right? Okay, so there's something important concerning this. There's no doubt about that. Now, look at the book of Revelation chapter 20. The Bible does show that just like Christians get their resurrection and transformation, it's the same thing with the lost souls of hell at the great white throne judgment. Look at Revelation chapter 20. And then we'll read verse 12. And I saw the dead small and great stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. Verse 13, And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. Look at Daniel chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. So look at that. These people get resurrected out of hell, out of the sea, and out of death, and go up to the throne. So they receive their resurrection. Look at Daniel chapter 12. Look at verse 2. Verse 2. Notice right here. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, that's us, and some to what? Shame and everlasting contempt. There's a transformation. If you read Revelation 20 again, I should have read this verse, I forgot it, but it says, blessed is he that takes part in the first resurrection, not in the second resurrection, because the second resurrection is for lost people. So they have a resurrection here. So Revelation 20 also shows the importance that there's a resurrection. Hmm. 
Here's another thing right here. Let's look at Matthew 23. Now, as we look at verse by verse, it's becoming more sufficient now. Yep. You can't just say three. You, gotta, you can't say one equals three. You got to have one plus one plus one, then you can clearly see a three. That's the same thing with this teaching about the lost souls, that they'll be transformed into the image of Satan, so to speak. As you add one verse plus one verse plus one verse. Look at Matthew chapter 23. Notice what they're called in the Bible. Notice what they're called in the Bible. Look at Matthew chapter 23. And then we'll also read verse 33. Look at what hell, hell, right? The context of hell. Ye what? Serpents, ye generation of vipers. How shall ye escape the damnation of hell? Not only that, Jesus said at the book of John chapter 8, ye are of your father the devil. You look at Ephesians chapter 2 or chapter 3. It's Ephesians 2, I believe. But the Bible shows right here you're the children of wrath, the spirit that now work in the children of disobedience. So you notice right here you are born from your daddy, the devil. So if you're born from your father, you take a certain image from him, correct? That's the same thing with these people. That's why Jesus called them serpents, because Satan is a serpent. So notice that there's this bug-like, serpentine-like creature that they take after their daddy, the devil. That's the reason why we believe that these people, when they die in their sins and burn in hell, they're going to take on the transformation of some kind of worm or serpentine bug-like shape. And then they're going to burn in hell for all of eternity. And truly that makes sense where the Bible says, where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. It makes a lot of sense after that.